I've got a pedestal fan here that's uh, not working, a 240 volt pedestal fan. Uh, this particular model has a uh, variable uh, timer setting, uh, it comes with a remote control, variable speed setting, etc., etc., uh, and it's turning itself off on an you know, intermittent basis. Uh, the remote control is not working properly, and a few other small little problems with it. So I have no clue whether or not I can fix this, but I thought I'd crack it open, have a look, see what I can actually figure out with just a multimeter, uh, and see whether or not it's even possible for me to repair it. Uh, I am noteworthy that uh, it's a 240 volt AC supply, so I do need to be uh, a bit, bit careful. All right, let's take a look. Ah, it's interesting. I don't know if you can see that in there or not. Let's see if I can get in a bit closer. Um, the screws that are actually holding this together are this little triangular shaped screw, some security type screw. Not seen those before. But um, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, finally got that off. Uh, that was the uh, front panel, just like that. And this was sitting inside the front panel, just held in by uh, four screws. So now that's out. And have a look at this itself. Um, probably not the. Uh, most attractive circuit board I've ever seen, but still better than I can design. So there is the, I'll get in a bit closer. So there is the infrared receiver for the remote. Uh, we've got some capacitors, a few resistors. These are obviously the push buttons, standard little tack switches, off timer. Um, speed, um, swing or OK, whatever that button's supposed to do, LEDs, caps, some integrated circuit here, uh, a little buzzer, PZO buzzer, NPNs or TFTs possibly, uh, and that is about it. Now on the back of the board, Um, see a large wire wound type resistor and the packages that actually do the um, uh, 240 volt transformation. Got your uh, 240 volts coming through here and straight onto the board then out from the board into the actual fan motor. Alright, well we'll start with the most obvious things, the fuse. Now this was powering up momentarily, um, so I don't expect the fuse to be blown. But I'll um, have a close look up, have a close look on that. Just easily, just do a continuity test. That's the easy way, and see what we can see. Okay, so continuity. Yep. So the fuse is fine. So on the other side of the board, nothing's blackened, nothing's obvious. Uh, so I would need to just poke around and see whether or not everything that I can probe with just a multimeter is actually measuring to tolerance. Um, I know that the infrared receiver wasn't working at all. Uh, so you couldn't turn the device on or off or set any of the settings with the infrared uh, transmitter. Yeah, okay. Not much else I can have a look at here. I'll just, again, poke around, check some of the settings on the um, capacitors and resistors and see what else I can find. All right, I'll just power this fan up. And one thing to note, you can probably see it, again I'll see if I can get a bit closer. That LED in the middle there is quite bright, quite satisfactory. I use the uh, remote to power this on and the fan will start. And then you can see that the LEDs are significantly duller. Um, 
and I have had a little poke and a probe around and there's definitely something wrong in the uh, power supply or the power distribution at least going through this particular board and it looks like uh, from the very uh, rudimentary level of things that I can poke and probe with a multimeter uh, it actually looks like uh, and again like this uh, no signal getting through at all there's not enough power going through the rest of this board in order to be able to function properly so what I can determine from that is that there is a definite power problem there it looks like that the fan motor is actually drawing more current than it should pulling some power away from what should be provided to the board so there's either a fault somewhere in that um, transforming section there or the motor is actually starting to fail and draw too much power from the system either way these things are not worth stuffing about with I've seen too many um, problems with these causing fires other issues so it's not something I'm going to muck about with this one's going in the bin so thanks very much for joining me and watching the show subscribers are always welcome so feel free to subscribe that would be great and I hope you'll join me again next week